Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK. I'm in uh, Hereford, uh, or near to Hereford, and uh, it's the 20th of May, and this is the kind of view, if you want to pan round, that you get in these parts when you go out walking. Absolutely stunning, but even better for me is the view down here. So if you want to zoom in down here, what we've got is a stump that we just found covered in these white mushrooms which uh, this one's a little bit battered but you can see that they grow in shelves you can see there he's got a stem now on this one here which is still in quite good condition I'll show you that stem it's nice and thick and the gills run down that stem almost all the way into the wood that it's growing out of and it'll grow out of almost any type of wood the type of wood isn't really important. This is the white oyster mushroom, Pleurotus pulmonarius. And uh, there's actually some babies around here. If you want to come round and have a quick look at those, there's some um, quite small ones, and then even smaller ones just here, if you follow my finger. So there's quite a lot on this stump. Now, this is a a lovely, lovely edible mushroom. The, uh, the oyster mushroom family, the Pleurotus family, get that name because the edge of the cap gets very wavy. As you can see on this little one down here, a bit like an oyster. Now, I've done a video on the gray oyster before and uh, I consider that one very safe for novice foragers. This one's not quite the same. Um, there is a mushroom that you don't want to eat uh, called the angel wings mushroom, which can be bad for your kidneys. And I believe that it's been known to have some other detrimental effects on people as well. So uh, in the UK, that one's much more common when you get north of the border up into Scotland. I rarely ever see it down uh, from where we are in the Midlands or anywhere south of that. Um, this mushroom though, we do see quite a lot and we see it uh, uh, a lot of different times during the year so like I said it's uh, the 20th of May and uh, these ones are fruiting right now um, I wouldn't be surprised if I uh, found an oyster mushroom in late August or early September as well so they're a mushroom that's great to know because they're out through different parts of the year a sort of good reliable foragers mushroom now not just the angel wings mushroom that you need to worry about. There is a mushroom that's much smaller called the oysterling, which uh, if all I'd seen was these here, these slightly smaller ones, then I'd possibly be uh, a little bit concerned and I'd want to have a closer look to see uh, if they were the oysterling, because that's another mushroom which is considered inedible. I don't think it's particularly toxic, um, but you certainly don't want to eat it. Uh, it doesn't ever get to this size, and it certainly wouldn't have that big, thick stem that I pointed out earlier. Now for me, flavour-wise, this mushroom's just exactly the same as the, uh, the grey oyster and the uh, other ones that you get in the family. It's got a lovely uh, firm texture when you cook it. So if you bake them and cook them the Irish way, they almost end up meaty. Uh, the Irish way being just smothered in butter, salt and pepper and stuck in the oven on a low heat. Uh, so they actually, in stews and things like that, can make a reasonable meat substitute. Uh, the oyster mushroom, or the white oyster mushroom. The way to tell the difference between this and um, the angel wings mushroom is that the angel wings mushroom is less meaty, more kind of translucent um, in, in some ways. It's just got a slightly different look. So. Any of you novice foragers out there, if you do find the white oyster mushroom, I do urge a little bit of caution. Um, that's the only mushroom that you really, really need to worry about, but you, you really don't want to eat it. So anyway, a great find for today, the white oyster, Sorotus pulmonarius. If you want to find out more, go to www.wildfooduk.com.